Hey everyone, this is my second contest um, video for uh, for another U YouTube channel that's reached 100 subs and that's 8 I Samurai and he has got some really awesome books um, I've enjoyed his videos and um, yeah, um, it's his 100th subscriber show and tell contest so he just wants you to subscribe to the people that He's left a link in his description. I'll send. I'll leave a link on my page for those those people that have got their YouTube channels that are under a hundred. So subscribe them as well. I won't go through the list because just you can go onto his page and check them out for yourself. But you should sub subscribe to all of them and to Eight I Samurai as well. Get him even more subs. Um, <clears throat> so he wanted a bit of a show and tell. This will be a short v video. Um, and he wanted to, wanted me to show you some of my stuff that I've got that I've and I've got a wee bit of a story behind them. So I'm I'm a bit of a I'm a comic collector. I'm an X Men Marvel collector, but I'm also a Doctor Who collector. As you can see behind me, I've got a Doctor Who collection, and um, and I'm a Star Wars collector. Um, my Star Wars collection's not that big, but I have a, wee, a few wee items and. Um, one of the items in my Star Wars collection is my Star Wars cards. I've got a complete set of the Return of the Jedi. These are not the original cards that I used to have. I've actually given my original cards. I completed my set a year ago. Um, and it's a near mint set. Um, and my original ones, I gave them to my friend up in Auckland. Because he was missing a whole heap. So we filled his set up and complete this set with my originals but back in the day we used to go down to the shop down to the dairy and you buy I think was it did you get five cards and a bit of bubble gum and we'd save our pocket money to buy them and we'd go down there every couple of days to buy a couple of packets of Return of the Jedi Star Wars cards and uh, you know and I'd had I've had those for years until recently but because I've upgraded to a better version of them a nicer collection set of them, but I just they just hold a special part of my life, my childhood, and I think it's pretty cool, you know. And the fact that I use my original cards to help my mate fill in his gaps with his collection, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the other thing is when I went down to Dunedin, Dunedin's a wee city that's two and a half hours away going south, and there was a comic shop there, and I was a big X-Men fan, and he had him up above his uh, counter, he had an X-Men toy. It was a cheap and nasty toy, and I've had him ever since, I've had him for over 25 years now, and um, it's Magneto, and I just remember seeing him there and going, oh, I need to buy that, I need to buy that, I've just got to. So, um, that's why I'm telling you about it, because it's quite special to me that I own this and I still have it and he's gone through a lot with me I mean flatting and he's always sat on my uh, duchess and uh, yeah so one of the best Marvel villains ever so that's why I'm telling you about Magneto so but so also I was a Doctor Who collector well Magneto just fell down <laughs> um so back in the 80s when I was growing up in the local bookshop um, they started bringing out Doctor Who paperbacks. Now, I've completed my Doctor Who paperback set all 154 of them I think I think that I might be wrong but yeah, somewhere around that um, and this is the very ever first one I bought back in 1984 I think 1984 I bought this and it, it holds a special place in my heart because it was the first one I ever bought and I saved up for it and uh, and I still own it it's a bit tattered I mean the spine's faded and let's see it's even got my name written inside it so you know it's just things like this you keep got to keep parts of your childhood and another part of my childhood was um, it's another book now this is from the 1970s book, but it's signed by John Levine, 
the actor who played um, Sergeant Benton in the show. Now we went about three years ago. I went up north, and we went to a wee city called Hamilton, and um, he was a, he was at a con, like Comic Con, but they're called Armageddon here, and he was there, and we I made a special trip to meet this guy because Doctor Who in the seventies, the third Doctor's adventures. Um, the doctor was trapped on Earth, and he was working for the army called called uh, Unit. They were special alien um, army. Yeah, that investigated paranormal or alien threats. And the doctor was their scientific advisor. And one of the characters was Sergeant ben Benton, who was John Levine. And John Levine was there, and so that was a highlight for me to meet this guy that. Because I was a bit obsessed with soldiers when I was a kid. And uh, to meet J John Levine was pretty awesome for me. And uh, yeah, so there's just a, some, some things from my childhood. And the other, I'll show you a couple more. And this book here I bought many, many years ago. The 1985 Summer Special Collection. And it's the same one. It's, you know, I've had this all my life. And, uh, yeah. And I'm still stoked to still own it. So, I just thought I'd show you that. And one more thing. I've actually upgraded, because my version of it was uh, a bit tattered, but was the Doctor Who 20th Anniversary Special. And I think this came out in 1984 or 1983. The Radio Times collected special. So, um, yeah, and it holds a special thing in my life and my heart this book um yeah so i just thought i'd show you these things these are pretty special to me and um, i will never be getting rid of these um yeah so that's my entry into the eight i uh, summarize 100th sub um show and tell com contest so thank you very much and good luck to everybody else that entered